Hello, my name is Ben and I'm happy and I'm back with another reaction. This time it is Willow. Lately, I feel everything in caps. Super keen for this album. I didn't actually realize that she's got a song with Avril Lavigne. So, oh my freaking God, I just cannot believe that we're going to get an Avril and Willow song. I have heard, I think I've heard a couple of her other songs. However, judging from this track list, she's got like Forever, which is my favorite Veronica song. She's got F U, Gaslight, Don't Save Me, Naive. Like the, the track listing looks sick in terms of what the songs are. Uh, called. Oh, Transparent Soul is all spaced out. Yeah, it just looks like it's going to be quite a cohesive, creative piece of work. So I'm super, super keen for it. I have heard some of Jaden's stuff. They're actually a super, super talented little brother and sister duo. This came out last week, so it's super, super recent. It's also got heaps of Travis Barker on it. He is literally everywhere lately. Honestly, I swear he's on so many different artists. He's always getting that featured just for his little drum solo. The first song is called Transparent Soul featuring Travis Barker. Let's go. There they are. pause it. This is amazing. She sounds so, so good. I love this. It's almost a bit like Joan Jetty kind of vibe. The lyrics are absolutely up there. Also, the album artwork is just so, yeah, grunge feel. Whoa, I love the melody, the little tune that's underlining it. But yeah, the lyrics are absolutely carrying this so hard. The snake just like you need some of this. Echoing on that last note, yes, so good. Obviously, she's written that with Travis, and there's another dude on there. Loved it, love the lyrics. Transparent soul. Oh, I'd love to know what that means, the transparent soul part, but the lyrics there, so good. Such an awesome opening track to introduce us to this album. Love, love, love. Oh my god. Oh, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. The next song is called Fuck You. I mean, come on, let's go. One, two. interlude love a good interlude <laughs> oh i love that that's like this is what i mean this is the type of stuff that i just love when artists just do random shit that they just love and it's yeah i don't know i just really like this the next song has a star just like transparent soul did it's called gaslight featuring travis barker let's go Almost another short song, not an inter- oh, I guess it could be like an interlude kind of vibe. Yeah, interesting. I didn't, I guess, connect with as much. I was trying to really uh, listen to the lyrics and kind of grasp it. Yeah, I really, yeah, I'd have to listen to that one again to kind of get into it. It just was a bit short. I kind of wish that was a longer song for what, I guess, the subject matter was going to be about. The next song is called Don't Save Me, Save Me in capital. So it's almost like, does she want us to save her? But she's saying don't. I don't know. Does she not want it just a little bit? <laughs> Let's go. songs are super super short I can't yeah it's I want I'm like I want more so I don't know if that's the I guess plan to kind of make it real enticing that you just do want to hear more I'd love just to be able to play it through without you know stopping in between each song just you kind of really vibe into it. I think it's gonna be one of those albums where you could just have it in the background it's just there as a comfort yeah I'm really really intrigued really impressed so far I'm yeah like I said I kind of vibe that it was gonna be one of those creative artistic kind of albums and it definitely is that the next song is called naive with an explicit let's go
Tyler Cole guy. He's been on a lot of the songs with her. Wow, that's probably the best song on the album so far, other than Transparent Soul. I loved that. That was so emotive, so, yeah, driven by her vocals. I loved her showing that off. There was a bit about, yeah, some writing that was really heavy too. Wow, now you number five is starting to jip number six on every album that I'm listening to lately. The next song is number six. Favorite number is this going to be the best song on the album. It's called Lipstick. Let's go. song oh my god that was so good so wrote that while just oh, i at one point the song was like shit i need to listen to like the production but it was just so captivating her voice the, the drawn out oh it was just sounded so raw so well produced as well definitely my favorite song for sure it just yeah it was the most emotive driven song oh well, definitely that's the song I want to repeat. Number six, bringing in the goods. Yeah, wow. Oh my God. I don't really have much else to say other than, yeah, just, yeah, whoa. I mean, it's it's so funny because a lot of the songs are so short, but it def, I mean, that's only song six. And however, a few of them have been so short, it just feels, I'm feeling drained. Just that song for sure was just, yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> The next song is called Come Home featuring Ayla Tesla Mabe. I think that's how you pronounce it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let's go. Ooh, it sounds like a song like from Euphoria. Another super, super emotive driven song. Their voices sounded amazing together. I love how she came in as the backing vocals and then had her own part in the song. Oh, I love that. That was so good. So good. It's one of the best for sure. The longer songs are the better songs I'm finding just because I guess you can get really more into them. Good English, Ben. Such a euphoria song that. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, definitely, it sounds like one of the main songs from it. I definitely think that could be on there for sure. Chuck it on the new season. Make it happen. The next song is called Forever. Let's go. Oh, I love this already. What is this? Sun was shining so bright during that song, and it's kind of like died behind a cloud now. It was sick, like kind of ambiance within. Love that song. Like, uh, yeah, the production, there's some real awesome little tidbits in there that if you're not paying attention, you don't really kind of hear. The voice is just so captivating. I'm getting so distracted from it. Oh, what an album. Let's just keep on going. The next song is called Extra featuring Tiara Whack. Let's go. That's awesome. Yeah. 
there, you're still right there. I need a chair, I need a chair. Oh, Another, again, the album seems so long because they're just so agonizing to listen to in terms of you just feel all her emotion in the song. I love the rap. Oh, so it's independent, ain't no one signing me. I love that. And then she spoke about her sobriety. Yeah, well, oh, I don't mean, ah. So good, so good. The next song is called Grow featuring Travis Barker. However, it is Willow and Avril Lavigne. This is the song I have been the most keen to listen to. I'm so excited. I really hope Avril shares the song with her and you hear quite a lot of her. Um, oh my God, I don't know what else to say other than let's just go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> so much happier. <laughs> Too short, too short. Some of these songs are so annoyingly short. Oh my god, love that. It definitely probably is the least cohesive in terms of the album. I guess well, it was the happiest, and I guess maybe it's nicer to have a bit of a perkier song because we have been so emotionally drained leading up to this. Love the lyrics, you know, no, it ain't a motherfucking metaphor. I love that. I just need to grow. I really like the line, it ain't wrong to be confused. Yeah, I, I really like the lyrics and the message behind it. I just don't know if it was super part of the album, uh, yeah. <laughs> I loved it though, it was nice to hear Avril on another song. I wish they were kind of sung together and bounced off each other, it definitely was Willow singing and then Avril singing, I wish they were meshed a bit more. But yeah, I really liked it how she sang and Avril just kind of echoed what she sung. But in saying that, it was still nice to be uplifted. I guess if the last song was quite uplifting, it would kind of mesh a bit better, but let's find out. We're at the last song, it's an upside down exclamation mark, breakout exclamation mark, and it's featuring Cherry Glazer. Let's see how she's gonna wrap this all up, let's go. Love that song, that was sick. I have no idea what she was saying halfway through the song. It was just like, Aah! just a sick song to rock out to. What an album. I cannot believe that was only 26 minutes. It definitely felt so much fuller, so much longer, and not in a bad way, just that you just really got into the songs. And some of them were so short, so I don't know how it felt longer than, you know, other full length albums. Absolute amazing piece of work. You know, you have Transparent Soul. We also love Naive, Lipstick, Forever. I loved Extra. Grow was sick, like I said. I actually, and that could, can't even talk. Grow now leading into Breakout definitely makes a bit more sense. So it was a nicer way to end the album, just kind of rocking out. I really love Grow's lyrics and message. Whoa, loved the F.U. song, just like a nice little interlude, chucking it in there. Yeah, really sick. Definitely an album I want to listen to and just really, I want to know the words, just so I could like belt out and rock out with Willow. Like, yeah. So good. What did you guys think? What's your favorite song on the album? Anything about Willow that I need to know? Any of these songs? Any of them got some stuff that I don't know about? Yeah, wow, I love that she had a song with Avril Lavigne. It just like made, as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh my God, I have to listen to this album. So that. Hit subscribe if you want to see more like button. I'm on gripping. I'm on gripping. I'm on Instagram at gripping. Hit me up on there. Let me know what you want to hear next. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are. I'm going to have a great day wherever I am. Ben is going to get.